Beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, this is Brother Frank speaking to you from the International Mission Center in Krefeld, Germany. We praise God for the past weekend. People gathered from many nations, even from the USA, from Canada, from African countries, from all over Europe, to hear the Word of God. And our main subject is the return of Christ, the second coming of Christ, the calling out, the preparation of the Bride of Christ to meet the Bridegroom when He comes. And we're very, very grateful to the Lord for what the Apostles have written about this subject, even in Thessalonians chapter 3, chapter 4, chapter 5. And then we understand that Brother Branham was given a divine commission on June the 11th, 19. 33, to share, to bring the last message before the return of Christ. Yes, I love the text of that commission. As John the Baptist was sent to forerun the first coming of Christ, you are sent with a message that will forerun the second coming of Christ. And then the man of God makes the statement, not that I would forerun, but the message would forerun the second coming of Christ. Eighteen times Brother Branham made this statement and we're very, very grateful for it. Then we understand when the prophet was taken, after he brought the message, he could go to glory. And the Lord himself has looked after the things that would take place when the prophet is already in glory. And beloved, I just have to say this, not because of me, but because the Lord has a plan of salvation. And this plan of salvation must be presented to God's people. And there's only one true church, one bride. Not many interpretations, no. And every Bible doctrine unites us in the Word, in Christ, and we are one in Him. Every interpretation brings divisions and everybody walking in their own ways. Beloved, it was William Branham who gave the testimony on April the 1st, 1962, to store in the food. It was the Lord on April the 2nd, 62, whose voice I heard with these ears to store in the food. Then it was William Branham who said to me on the 3rd December 1962, the food you put in store is the promised word for this day and it's 
on the tapes and then making this statement, wait with the giving out until, until you have received the rest of the food. I want you to know, it's not a very clear picture, but by the grace of God, through the 50s and 60s, every sermon Brother Brennan preached was sent to me in Germany. Here are the hundreds of sermons, and I put the food in store while the prophet was still alive. Then, of course, after he was taken to glory, the Lord confirmed the commission that I had to take the message from city to city, from country to country, and from continent to continent to share the promised word of God the restoration ministry, we are brought back to the very beginning, to the original foundation laid by the apostles and prophets. God did not start a new religion, no. He brought us back to the very beginning. All the teachings, William Branham, was used of God to bring us back to the Word, to bring us back to God. And beloved, I'm just so grateful to the Lord that every sermon Brother Brennan preached, I could share with the people and take it back into the Word of God. Here you see, all the sermons I translate within a short time into the German language and was responsible to share the messages in so many different languages to let this generation know the promise for this day. Not only God sending his messenger with the message, but now, now we have to understand and partake in what God is doing right now. And therefore, if you read what the Apostle Paul was saying about the second coming of Christ, as I mentioned in First Thessalonians 3, 1 Thessalonians 4 and 5, Beloved, we're not left in the dark. And by the grace of God, William Branham referred to Revelation 22, the last verses, 150 times that nobody should add anything to the written word of God or take away from the written word of God. 150 times William Branham gave the warning not to add anything to the word of God because our part would be taken from the book of life. Beloved, I have to take such statements very seriously. And I'm not judging, but the many interpretations about thunders, about parousia, about the many different subjects. My God in heaven, who are you? You are misled and you're misleading the people. You put the Bible aside and you refer to what the prophet said. If you would understand what the prophet said and what he meant, 
you would go back to the Word of God and find it confirmed in the Holy Scriptures. I translate it. Brother Branham's sermons, I know them in and out. And there's no contradiction. And by the grace of God, I can share the message of the hour, opening the scriptures and showing to God's people what the Lord has done in the ministry of Brother Branham and what he has done since the prophet was taken to glory. Today, I don't wish to say very much, but my heart is broken because of the many directions who claim to believe the prophet and the message. Let me say this in clear words. There are not many directions. There's no confusion in the bride of Christ. The bride is a pure promised word for this day. No interpretation, and we say the Lord confirming his word, and as our Savior said, that this gospel of the kingdom would be preached to all nations. This has never happened before, and my own feet have stepped on 165 countries, and from the 193 countries who are serving 172 countries directly. Beloved, this is God's time for God's people. And in the past over 50 years, have done nothing else except sharing the Word of God, traveling over 15 million miles, traveling every month, traveling and traveling because of the Divine Commission. And I believe that we can share with you every scripture, even Revelation 10, to place it precisely where it should be and where it is according to the plan of salvation. No problem. By the grace of God, we have a full, and let me say this in love, a complete understanding of the message of the hour because we find it completely in the Word of God. Not two things, the prophet here and the message here and the Bible here and God here. No, no, it's one and the same. Let me say this in finishing these few minutes. Beloved, I believe that the return of Christ is very, very near. It's at hand. All the Bible prophecies are being fulfilled with Israel, among the nations, with the Bride of Christ. And therefore, we must return. It's a divine must. We must return to the Word of God and no interpretation. And those who believe interpretations are foolish virgins. At the first, all the ten went out. But at the return of our Lord and Savior, only half of them would be ready to meet the Lord when he comes. Don't be foolish. 
Don't follow interpretations. Be wise. Come back to the word of God and respect what God has said in his word. Beloved, because of the divine commission, I have to take things very, very seriously. And you will be thankful to God for the ministry of today. I'm not speaking in my own name. The Lord called me, gave me directions, and the prophet confirmed it. And in the past over 50 years, the Lord confirmed it all over the earth. May the blessings of Almighty God rest especially upon all ministering brethren to share the Word of God, the spiritual food with God's people. May the Lord God bless you and be with you. In Jesus' holy name, amen.